Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to show you the quick rig that I used from the prior video, Clear Lake Fishing over at Soda Bay. <laughs> the top bait that worked for me. That day I worked the Whopper Plopper, the Jerk Bait, the Fluke, the Crank Bait, and Nothing worked out except for the creature bait and the creature bait combined with the jig. Uh, today's video is gonna be a breakdown of the creature bait that I used and how I rigged it up most of the time to catch approximately 10 to 15 bass that day. Sizes range all the way from 14 inches all the way to 18 and some change. If you want to check this video out, if you want to watch this all the way through, it would really help me out to get monetized eventually. I make zero money right now off of YouTube. It would really help me out if you could watch through this whole entire video. And if you can't, just leave it playing while you cook dinner or while you have a good time with your spouse or your, or your significant other. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the breakdown of this lure and how I rigged it up. You'll need your plastics. So what we have here is Reaction Innovations. I am not sponsored by them by no means. I'm just a believer and I've been using it since 2007, mainly at the Delta, Clear Lake, Berryessa, but I've noticed that it still works in the Southern California lakes, such as Paris, Lake Murray, and Castaic uh, Lagoon. Let me go ahead and open one up for you guys. So this is a 420, 4.20 Sweet Beaver, and it's just a creature bait. So some people prefer, prefer Yamamoto creature baits like Ica or the Flappin' Hog. There's different. There's so many different brands out there, but I prefer Reaction Innovations. This is a June Bug color. I chose this color for Clear Lake because it was one foot of clarity. So when you get that muddy water or very dark coloration where there's only one foot of visibility or zero feet of visibility you want to go a darker presentation so this is a gene bug right here now if you're doing clear water you want to go with more than natural colors you can either do watermelon brown and purple or green pumpkin my favorite colors to stick with is green pumpkin this color, June Bug, or a brown and orange color like the Big Texan. If it's super clear water, I'll go ahead and use like a sprayed grass, which is like a watermelon with a green and purple flake. So yeah, let's just get started. So this is the 4.20 downsize if you have to over at your lake to the Swat Smalley Beaver, which is, I believe it's a 3.2 or 3.5. So grab yourself a bag of these. Links are in the description. Uh, so you'll need Sweet Beaver, you'll need a sharp knife for braid or, or braid scissors. Keep in mind, I will use fluorocarbon if it's clear water. If it's clear and you're finesse fishing and you're really, and the fish are really line shy, I'd go maybe 15 pound test fluorocarbon with still a backing of 65 pound braid. 50 to 65 pound braid. In this example of tying on the lure, we're just gonna be using the 65 pound um, Smackdown braid by Seaguar. I honestly like Power Pro a little bit better because it casts better. This feels a little thicker to me and it doesn't cast as well. We're just using it because of the, the color, color wise, but if I'm pitching into toolies or flipping in toolies or heavy vegetation, I will go straight to braid. No doubt about it. I have caught in big fish, seven, eight pounders with straight braid in heavy vegetation, and they're not line shy in those areas. If you're fishing open water, I would say 15, 20 pound test fluorocarbon. And then you'll need a super line or extra wide gap three aught hook. So you got your creature bait, your three aught, you got your line, your knife. And then for this example, I am going to use a tungsten quarter ounce weight 
I like to do quarter, especially if I'm fishing shallow. If you're fishing one foot of water to eight feet of water, I recommend the quarter ounce. You can even go to eighth ounce if you want. It's a little bit light for me, but if there's a lot of vegetation, then you might want to go eighth of an ounce and you're swimming through it. However, if you're punching, you probably want to use an ounce of two ounce tungsten weight. And if you're fishing really deep, probably half ounce, you probably recommend half ounce or three eighths ounce. So we're gonna put that aside right here. And last, I'll be using this bobber stopper to prevent the weight from sliding up and down. Okay, let's get started. So take some line out. Now pretend this is coming off of your rod and reel. So you got your line. This is your leader line. Take the bobber stopper right here. And like I said, everything will be under the description so you can order from there. It supports the channel. Okay, and then you just slide this bobber stopper up this line right here. Give it about six inches, six inches to 12 inches. So you have room to put the weight on and tie a knot. Slide this bobber stopper down a little bit more. Okay, then grab your weight, your tungsten weight. This is the quarter ounce because I'm pitching shallow. Slide it down there and you see how this bobber stopper stops that weight from sliding. Now you're gonna grab your hook. This is a three aught. I don't think this is the super line hook, but I recommend the super line because it's a bulkier hook and you'll get better hook penetration. Uh, so you want to take the, the eyelet of this hook from the barb side, put your line in that side and then take enough line and then take the tag in again and go back the way that you came out but you want to hold the tag end and the main line together making this loop right here so you have this loop make sure you give yourself plenty of of line just in case you mess up so you have the tag tag line and the main line and you're holding those together right let's get this organized there's the tag end and the main line and what you want to do is just a granny knot with the tag line main line and the loop so take the loop make a little granny knot and then hold it like so just like that and then take the loop and go over the hook, the whole entire hook. And then it's gonna end up looking like this, okay? And then just get it wet, just a little wet, and then slide that all the way down. So you're taking your, your, your main line and your tag line and you're pulling it away from the, the hook. Pull it, pull it, pull it. And then pull your tag line so you can get that loop fully cinched down. So give it a good tug. A lot of knot failures are because you don't tighten up the knot and test out the strength of it. So pull the tag end and then pull the main line, just like so. And then, Take your knife or your braid scissors and leave about five millimeters of extra line on there. So that way, if your braid does slip, then you still have five millimeters of air on there. And there you go. There's your knot, polymer knot. Now this is for open water and using fluorocarbon. Again, you wanna use a snail knot if you're using braid. So slide that weight all the way down. So it looks like so. And then slide that bobber stopper all the way down as well. Where it looks natural. So you have the bobber stopper, the tungsten weight, and your hook. And you want that to look as natural and sh straight line as possible. Then you have your creature bait right here. What you want to do is I usually 
I'll hold up the barb right here. And then there's two dotted plastics right next to the tail, right there. I like to face that towards the hook. So I'll go through the head until it hits this section of the hook right here. Once it hits that section of the hook, penetrate it down the middle. So you're penetrating down the middle like so. And then you're gonna feed that, the head of the creature bait, all the way down to the end of the hook, like so. And then you're gonna turn it around where it matches that offset of the hook. Like so. Then you're gonna take the hook bend the, where the bar meets, you're gonna line it up like so, and that's where the hook's gonna go into, okay? So it's lined up right at the last ridge. So we're gonna take that creature bait and we're gonna bend it till it meets to the last ridge, right next to the barb. So we're gonna take that barb and penetrate that last ridge down the middle. Now I'm gonna go straight through. And bam, you see? It went straight through, just like so. And then take your bait and then just push it so it's flush. Hold on, let me do a better job of putting it down to that ridge. Because it didn't come right down the middle. You want your bait as straight as possible. a better job right there. Then you're gonna push that bait where that barb is hiding in the middle of that bait right there. I like I like leaving my barb exposed, text opposed, where when you set the hook, this plastic will move and it will penetrate the rooftop of the mouth. Sometimes you'll get their tongue. If you're finding like you're getting caught up a little bit more, you can kind of nose hook it or uh just push the barb in slightly on the side just like so and then it's up to you during the summertime if it's really active you don't need to break about these claws sometimes you do this last trip when i broke the the, the claws away i got more bites when i didn't i didn't get any bites so it depends on the day some days if you take, if you leave the pinchers together, you'll get more bites. Some days, if you leave the pinch, if you tear the pinchers apart, you'll get more bites. It really depends on the day and the conditions. And there you go. This is a Texas rig creature bait. What I caught 13 fish on my last trip over at Clear Lake. If this helps you at all, please comment below. And if you want to see more setups, I will be gladly to help you guys out. Anyways. Uh, Thanks for stopping by my channel and uh, I hope you guys come back and watch more videos. It really helps a lot. I'm trying to get monetized and make this a full-time deal. So if you click the video one more time and just watch the video throughout, you don't even need to watch it. Just let it play throughout while you're cooking dinner or something. It'll extremely help the channel and I'll make these videos more often for you guys. Anyways, subscribe, hit that alert button, like the video, comment, any questions that you have, and I'll be with you guys as soon as possible. Have a great day and catch more fish.